What's up everybody? I'm Jay Ray and on today's episode of Jay Ray's DIY I want to give you three helpful tips for using a miter saw. So my first tip is to make sure that you wear good hearing protection and good eye protection when you're using a miter saw. Of course protect your eyes so that you can keep your vision as long as possible and to protect your hearing for as long as possible as well. So the second tip I've got for you today is to use stops on your miter saw when you're cutting a bunch of pieces and you want them all to be the same length. It's a good idea to have a stop that you can use. That way you don't have to measure each individual piece and mark them and then cut them. That just takes up more time. It's much faster and easier if you just go ahead and set up a stop on your miter saw and then you can cut all your pieces the same length. My miter saw comes with this little clamp. It's pretty handy so I just use the 2x6 and I put it in the place that I wanted it and then I cut all these boards right here they're all the same length and I uh, was able to do that because I used my stop here on my miter saw and I just run them up against the stop go ahead and cut it run the next board against the stop and cut it of course while you're doing that you need to make sure that your piece is secured against the fence this is the fence back here on both sides so make sure your piece is secured against that run your piece of material up until it stops against that board that you put there and then go ahead and cut it. If your miter saw doesn't come with a clamp on the saw itself, you can go ahead and get you some of these clamps. Uh, they're pretty cheap from Harbor Freight. And then just go ahead and clamp the board on there, like so. That's as easy as that. So for my third tip, I'm gonna make a suggestion. If you're gonna use your miter saw often, and you're gonna be making a lot of cuts with it or you're gonna be doing a, a business where you're making a lot of woodworking products or if you're gonna be doing a lot of work on your home uh, doing some remodeling doing trim boards anything like that go ahead and invest in a nice miter saw stand um, this one that I've got here is a little bit older model but it's got collapsible legs that fold up into the body there you can remove the miter saw from it and also the end pieces are adjustable so you can move them up and down to make sure that you match the height of your miter saw table. Of course there's all kinds of different brands for miter saws and the miter saw stands. Uh, there's several good ones out there. DeWalt makes a good one. This miter saw stand that I've got here is a, called a Stable Mate. I don't suggest if you're going to be using a miter saw only every once in a while to go out and get one as fancy as what I've got here. Um, of course my miter saw here is a compound sliding miter saw and what that means is not only does it go up and down and make cuts it also makes them up and down and you can pull it out and make a little bit wider cut if you get a wider board so it comes in pretty handy but I didn't start out with this saw I started out with just a 10 inch miter saw that I use quite often and all it did was go up and down of course you can adjust the table here uh, to make different angled bevels Put it at anything from zero to 60 degrees cut is what this saw here will do. The one that I had previously would only go from zero to 45 degrees cut. So depending on what you're doing, uh, get the saw for your needs and uh, for what you're going to be doing, how often you're going to be doing it. I would suggest if you're only going to use it every once in a while, maybe replace a couple trim boards in your house, uh, maybe just build a couple small projects every now and then. Just get you a regular miter saw. It does bevels, does angles and you can tilt the blade back and forth. Um, I didn't show that to you, but I can also do that here on this saw. You can tilt it at angles this way so that you can get the perfect cut on your boards. And one thing uh, it's pretty interesting about this saw right here, it's got that little 35.3 degrees mark. What that's for is for crown molding. Uh, if you're gonna be cutting crown molding in your house and putting it up, I suggest that you get a saw that has some sort of marking that you can use to cut crown molding. So what this is, is you would set your saw to this 35.3 degrees angle this way, but also at the same time you're going to have to adjust your angle back here to this 33.9. So when you do that and you cut your boards, it should come out to where they'll match up perfectly every time. Alright guys, that's all I've got for this video. I hope you enjoyed my tips on using a miter saw. And if you did, stay tuned for further content on my channel. And also don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't already.